Welcome to Journals of the Classes. In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Monk. It's just Monk. Oh, Monk. Monk. I mean, I can't think of anything for Monk. monk. I mean, oh. Monk is... Monk is Monk. 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 Alright. Throughout <laughs> all living things flows the energy of Pi. So it's normally chi when we're talking about monks, right. but in the D and D world, it's ki. 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 I said kai. It's, it's it's ki. It's it's not yeah. It's not chi. It's just ki. Yeah. So it's k i instead of c h i. Yeah. So it's just so ki. Let me know. All right. <laughs> monks harness this energy to create magical effects and exceed their body's physical capabilities. They are masters of the martial arts and formidable opponents to anyone stupid enough. To shoot them with a bow. Because they can catch arrows. <laughs> and daggers. And daggers. Really, if you, if you like, hurl anything at them that's yeah. not a spell... They can probably catch it. They're probably going to catch it, yep. So, if they ever lose a lighter and you find it, just throw it at them. Yeah. They'll catch You're it. You're like... Oh, I mean, yeah. hey, it's my lighter. Although yeah. I don't know how, like, oh, maybe a lighter for the candles. Yeah. I just don't know too many monks that's... I mean, well, they're trying to hone their bodies to perfection. Mm. So they probably all smoke that. <laughs> <laughs> but they probably smoke something. <laughs> I got Ascendant Dragon. We're gonna do Ascendant Dragon. Here <laughs> we go. <laughs> These monks revere dragons as the most powerful creatures in the multiverse. And they are, so they're right. <laughs> so seek to emulate them in their many forms. The masters of this path can augment their prowess in battle, bolster their allies, and can even soar through the air on draconic wings. And then who hasn't ever wanted to soar through the air on draconic wings? But like, come on. I think that's in a song somewhere. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. <laughs> So, if you're a dragonborn that hates that you can't have wings, this is the path for you. Also, why don't they have wings? I mean, they are offsprings of dragons. I mean, you'd think that they might. Do you think that they clip their wings? Because that is I, really... That's... The, the, the next one is, is um, Astral Self. The body of an astral monk is but an illusion as a vessel for their true astral form. This astral soul can be a power for order or disorder. So these monks seek to balance the two. They are the father to the son and daughter. Yeah, let's get back to this dragon thing. So do you think that they're abusing these dragons? I mean, maybe they do have wings and the parents just don't want them to have wings too early and so they clip the wings and the wings don't ever grow back. I really think we need to find out. I think we need to balance them. Okay, Drunken Master. Well, I mean, Jack and Jan. All right. While it may seem like a terrible <laughs> idea to model your form upon a series of questionable decisions, uh, the monks of this school embrace the jerky and unpredictable movements of a drunkard to mask a carefully planned dance of blocks, parries, and jabs. Another round! Hey! And it's on him. Here's a health to the company. <laughs> Well, they're definitely very jerky. <laughs> they do like their jerky. They do. Mm, the next is the four elements. The four elements lived in harmony until the school was formed. Masters of the primordial elements, these monks channel their key into powerful spells that can wreak havoc on an unsuspecting opponent. These monks also tend to get tattoos that represent the elements they specifically channel. Such as a phoenix for fire, or a raging tempest for air. Or an arrow pointing down from their forehead to indicate <laughs> the last airbender. <laughs> They're also partial to multi-legged buffalo. <laughs> and cabbages. <laughs> and cabbages. Alright, the next one is Kinsey. Oh, Merging with their weapons until they are but an extension of their bodies, these monks are saints of the sword 
and see their weapons as a brush with which to paint the world with the blood of those who do them wrong. Mm. They also like sunrises and often come from lost continents where they fought elves just for being left handed. She doesn't get it yet. She will. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, my other school's fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> the Long Death. Also called Reapers. These monks are obsessed with death and use this necrotic obsession to turn their strikes into necromantic rituals. The cycle will continue whether you would like it. That's so creepy. <laughs> open hand. Not closed fist. Open hand. These monks are masters of the martial arts. Aren't most monks masters I mean, of the martial arts? I mean, I... Well, wait, there's yeah. more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they can prevent harm to themselves and others whilst pushing and shoving their opponents into an early grave. Enough. Oh, so they just, like, like Shove use em. that. Shove them. And then they probably use their key. Key. Key! That's the key. Yeah. Not to be confused with lock. <laughs> <laughs> or key. Our final subclass is the Sun Soul. These monks channel the energy of light and life into their movements, to harness the divine spark that rests within each creature's soul. They can shoot bolts of sunlight and destroy the undead with a thought. They may not be the most noble, but they certainly shine a light on the injustices of this world. <laughs> so? They're a shining light <laughs> on the world. <laughs> so? That was Monk. I, I've been Shadu. I've been Frey. <laughs> and we will see you next time. <laughs> On Journals. Of the Classes. <laughs> Bye. Bye.